G'day everyone, welcome to the How To Hello Marine tutorial part 6. My name's Andrew DFT, let's get started. So in this video we're going to be focusing on the lower arm section. We've got an elbow piece up here and we've got a forearm piece that goes on there. They're all both uh, held on nicely with elastic, so nothing too fancy connecting them to your body. So by the end of the video you should have two pieces finished and looking like this. Of course you'll need to duplicate them because you're going to need one for one arm and another pair for the other. Now if I was to rate this build I would definitely give it a 3 out of 10. It's relatively easy but it does have some uh, little tricks that you guys are going to have to master when we are cutting nice little bevel edges into that. But more on that further in the video. And if you haven't watched the first tutorial, you will not know about the uh, PDF that goes along with this. It can be purchased for $3.50 from the link below. It gives you all the templates already scaled and all ready to print out so you can kick off where the video starts, plus a few extra um, tutorials uh, for some bonus content, as well as an overview of the materials we're going to be using in this section. So jumping right in, go ahead and start cutting out the templates. Now on this individual template, you'll find both the elbow and the uh, forearm piece. So cut them out neatly and you should have them all displayed, something like this. We can go ahead and start transferring them onto the EVA foam. Now to do this, just use a simple pen or pencil and you want to carefully trace around the exterior of the templates. Not indenting the foam, but pressing hard enough just to leave the outline, which can act as a guideline so we can carve it out. Now make sure you've got a nice sharp blade at this section because we are going to need to uh, get somewhat nice uh, clean cuts on these pieces as you will uh, see these quite a bit. These are going to be of course directly on your arm so whatever photo you do these will be pretty much in every shot so you want them to look as best as possible. So go ahead and neatly cut them out and then what we can do is we can start preparing to bevel these edges. Now the three lines I've just uh, directed here on screen are the sections we're going to be cutting into. So we're going to cut from the uh, nice flat surface in to the rigid or to the underside of the foam. Now we can just go in with the bevel technique on a 45 degree angle. It doesn't need to be uh, too steep, but 45 degrees usually does the job. And as you can see, those three sides have now been uh, trimmed and will allow us to put the uh, extra pieces of foam to create a nice uh, edge line, which should come out pretty clean and hopefully uh, look rather nice in the final result. So once we've done that, we can now start working on the uh, top section towards this piece. Now rather than using three, we're going to just do the uh, two side pieces. So make sure you are only cutting the two sides because you might bugger it up if you uh, did more than that. So just go ahead, 45 degree bevel, those two edges that I showed you before. And then that's pretty much all the beveling you're going to need to do for this uh, section. So what you can do now is just grab your hot glue gun and start gluing these pieces together. Try put only as much hot glue as you need um, so that way there isn't any bleeding going on because you don't want it not bleeding as in like real bleeding but bleeding as in a hot glue overspill um, so glue in these uh, two sections I've done here now quite important let that dry make sure that's quite sturdy before we do the next section because we are going to be bending slash forcing the foam and it will resist quite a bit but uh, it'll be a lot easier if everything else that has been glued on the uh, main body has set so that way there's very little resistance. Then go ahead, take your nice sharp knife and trim off any uh, artifacts that we don't need or are protruding on the overall design. Now you can pretty much repeat the process. <laughs> go ahead with the pen and do the exact same thing you just did before, but on the elbow section. Once you've uh, got it drawn out, then go ahead, cut it out. Like I said, um, you don't have to change your blade at this stage. This will be on the back of your elbow, so you might not actually ever see it in a photo, but hey, we're building a costume, so we may as well do all the pieces required for it. Once you've cut that out, we're then gonna use a heat gun to really uh, heat this thing up. Now, just like we've done with the ab plates and all the other large sections which we needed to form around our body, we wanna heat this piece up so it's very flexible. You should be able to like wobble it in your hand and you can see it like a like a wave kind of thing. That means that it's extremely uh, flexible and we can now bend it. Now the idea that I'm going for here is kind of like a turtle shell so that way it kind of bends on every single angle but not so much that it looks like a circle. So in the shot here you can see that there's a nice little bowlish kind of uh, interior and then when we flip it over you can get that nice, uh, nice turtle shell effect which will of course wrap around the elbow quite nicely. But that's pretty much it. Once you've done those two you're all good to go and uh, start on the next piece. So that's it. Hopefully you guys managed to follow along and it wasn't too difficult. Like I did say, it was only going to be about a difficulty of three. So you guys should have been able to get the gist 
of uh, how that was all produced. Now of course you can carefully put those away with your other pieces of armor and get into another one. By clicking one of the links at the end of the video, it will take you directly to the next section. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll catch you later.